Welcome back, everybody. This is the Sedona International Film Festival 2022. I'm Tanya June Moore, and I get to do my favorite thing. I get to talk to filmmakers, and I love it. And this film, you know, there's just never a bad film here. <laughs> Please introduce yourself in your film. Hi, I'm Virgie Rodriguez, and I um, wrote and directed and produced the short film Dreamer. This is a great one. It tells a beautiful story, something I think most of us may be aware of, but nobody really knows the true feeling. So <laughs> please give us a synopsis. Okay, so just overview is about a um, dreamer, DACA recipient named Lily, who um, crosses, comes back from a, a volunteer medical uh, mission in Venezuela, and because of a glitch in the system, um, gets detained and possibly deported. Yes, and you star in it. Yeah, this is your brainchild. Mm -hmm. Why? I think um, a few reasons, and you know, the obvious would be obviously, you know, dreamers and DACA recipients. And as much as our previous administrations have tried to protect this group of people and these group of immigrants who came here as children to the United States, there's still uh, flaws. There's still holes in the system that potentially the, they're not protected. They could be deported and they only know this country, right? Mm -hmm. So that's one of the reasons. And then another reason was um, I was still auditioning in LA as an actor a few years ago and I kept getting auditions that were the same thing, stereotypical um, roles for Hispanic women. And it was, you know, the maid, she has, she's from Central America, she has an accent, doesn't speak English very well. And I'm like, you know, how do we change this? We keep talking about we want to change that narrative. Well, how do we do that? Um, and I just took it upon myself to just write a story that I would want to talk about. And there was, again, previous administration and talking about immigrants and deporting them and just this um, narrative around immigrants, specifically Latin American immigrants, mm -hmm. that, that um, I wanted to kind of help change. And if I could use my creative voice to do that and say that and say what I wanted to say, it came out of frustration. A lot of it came out of frustration and wanting to change it and see a change. I didn't want to wait for somebody to tell me this is how we're going to change it. I just gave myself permission to do that. Mm -hmm. And I, I stepped into that role. Congratulations. Look Thank where you, you are. Thank, I know. I'm, I love Sedona and I want to move here now. <laughs> <laughs> She's got red so, paper, so, everybody. You know. And we would love to have you here. Thank you. So welcome to our community. <laughs> okay. um, you know, I had a lot of feelings watching this. Mm. And not, I mean, the very obvious feelings, but then I also had this feeling of, like, her conquering, her coming back, and mm -hmm. her being so vested in creating great change. Mm -hmm. What was the, the first screening like? Ooh, well, the first screening for me here mm -hmm. was awesome because the audience just had such great feedback. And, and again, for me, it was... I'm not a politician. I'm not trying to get into politics. I don't want to make it political. All I'm saying is I'm picking one piece mm -hmm. of what's happening and saying, can we talk about this on both sides? It's not just one-sided. It's both sides. If we start deporting everybody, well, they, we're going to really start seeing our communities really being impacted, right, Yes. in a lot of ways. So um, it, it, it felt good to just get that feedback from people and it really stirred emotion in people. and that's what I wanted I wanted to just start a conversation oh yeah mainly. I had a I had some there was definite real feelings in mm -hmm. this and you could tell what you put into it on so many levels mm -hmm. did it look and feel the way you really wanted it to when you saw the final product I mean yeah I um, kind of had already seen it in my head what what I wanted it to look like and what message I wanted to give and towards the end of the film I uh, lifted um, Ronald Reagan's last speech as president back in 1989 Beautiful. which is about immigration and you know I I was gonna use more of it but I was like okay that takes too much uh, too much of the film and too much time and I wanted to keep it under eight minutes so seeing the final product was like yeah, I nipped it. I mean, I could there, I could get picky about certain sound things that I I see later, and I'm like, eh, maybe I should have changed that or should have delivered that line different. But it, overall, I I'm happy with it. You, you know, I agree. <laughs> you deserve to be happy with Thank this you. work. Thank you. And when are you screening again? So I'm screening um, on Tuesday, the 22nd at 7 p.m. 
So I'm I'm really excited. I hear it's sold out. Yep. So, um, Most of our screenings are. Yeah. So congratulations yeah. on a sold out. Thank you. Uh, where can they keep up with this and you? Um, as a beautiful actress, <laughs> she played the lead. It was amazing. Thank you. Um, and and you know even it's like I use it as a vehicle to act, but I really just I want to start telling narratives from this perspective. Mm-hmm. Whether it's a woman of color, Hispanic woman of color, a darker Hispanic woman of color, <laughs> like you know it's just so many levels. There's that, but just like that female voice and just writing. So keep up with uh, us at Dreamer Short on Instagram or at. Virgie Love, that's V E R G I L U V on Instagram. Um, and then Dreamer hyphen short film on Facebook. Fantastic. So share this, talk about it. It's a beautiful film. It's well done. I mean, it's here at the Sedona International mm-hmm. Film Festival. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy all the accolades that you well deserve. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Stay tuned. I'll have another incredible filmmaker in the seat right after this.